I'm Sam Thompson, and on the way, we're getting into the top 15. But first, let's get your latest. It's six o'clock. The home of the Hits Radio Breakfast Show with Joseph Begley. Play Hits Radio Lincolnshire. Our top story this hour is in Berlin, where there are just two hours to go now to the final of Euro 2024. <laughs> England and Spain fans are in jubilant spirits as they get ready to watch their teams battle it out. Back here, venues and fan zones are already filling up. Our reporter Harry Booth's watching the game in Liverpool's concert square. Two of this city's stars in both red and blue, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Jordan Pickford, have helped the three lines get to Berlin tonight. They'll be cheered on by thousands of fans here, millions more at home, and those lucky enough to be at the game in person. Well worth it. England means so much more to me than any any money does. Time's running out and this might be the only time, but it's the only time in my lifetime we got to a final that I've been able to go to. Lots of supporters are feeling optimistic and it's a sentiment Captain Harry Kane's trying to share as well. From my point of view, just from a, with a fan's head on, I know it would be an incredible night if we do achieve what we want to achieve. Among those sending good luck to England are the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Archbishop of Canterbury put in a prayer too. I'll be praying that the right result comes out of the match, but I may just add a few words. Justin Welby will be among those watching the big game from eight tonight. Next to the US, where Melania Trump says the attempted assassination of her husband left her life on the brink of devastating change. Donald Trump says a bullet fired during his campaign rally in Pennsylvania pierced his ear. Chase Slater's mum, Debbie Duncan, says she's aware of vile conspiracy theories surrounding her son's disappearance. A fresh statement's been released almost a month since the 19-year-old went missing in Tenerife. His family have called in search experts from the Netherlands to help. And the Princess of Wales has made her second public appearance since being diagnosed with cancer. Kate presented the Wimbledon Men's Singles Trophy to Carlos Alcaraz. The Spaniards beat Novak Djokovic in the final for a second year in a row. Weather. With the Mirage Mablethorpe. Rain or shine, visit the arcade. Licensed cafe and bar, open every day. Some drizzle for northeastern areas overnight, but otherwise dry and clear elsewhere with some showers at times tomorrow. That's the latest. I'm Johnny Freeman. Hits Radio. Now. With Sam Thompson. I'm Sam Thompson, and this is the Hits UK chart. It's getting juicy, things are getting exciting as we head into our top 15. We get into it with a song that falls one place this week is Teddy Swims and the Door. With Sam Thompson. This is Number 15. 